lengthening here and then coming back up, shortening, coming back up. Okay, so accentuate it even more when he goes single leg squat. So go single leg squat. So when he goes down, this has to lengthen and then it shortens. Go down, this has to lengthen, this has to shorten. So if he's not lengthening under control, so if we don't have tension as this is getting longer, so this is normal, gets longer under load. If this is on slack and this is like this, go ahead and go. Now we get instability because we don't have tightness. So when we tell people we want you to be tight, that's what we're talking about. So the, the tighter this is when he's moving, the more responsive he is. So if he goes down and does that, now he's pronated, he's loaded, we have load on this. What happens when he comes up into a jump or into a sprint? Now he can unload the loaded muscle. If he's on slack when he gets down there, what's he going to unload? Gonna unload, he has nothing to unload. He's, he's not loaded. So unless you preload, then you can't explode. So load explode works. Slack and sloppy means no unloading, no exploding. And it means now we're putting pressure on patellofemoral joint. Or we're kicking out at the hip when he does his single leg squat and we've got this Trendelenburg thing. And he's got hip pain and IT band syndrome and low back pain. So that's why we want the muscles to be responsive, and the only way they can be responsive is if they are being loaded. So that's why when patients say, well, I got a massage or I stretch or I use the Theragun because I want my muscles to relax. So muscle is a contractile tissue that always contracts. So the only time a muscle doesn't contract is when it's dysfunctional. So if you force it to be slack and loose, now you've just forced yourself to be dysfunctional biomechanically, which is going to cause pain and injury and decreased sports performance or work performance or anything, getting out of the car, whatever. Okay. So um, what was I going to say? So does that make sense? So when we say we want stiff, so if I ask a, patient, ask a patient, why do you want to be loose? Well, it gets me more range of motion. Okay, so if I give you the choice of driving a car up to the mountains through switchbacks and all that stuff, and I give you the choice of you can be a Ferrari or you can be a 1964 Ford truck, what do you want to be? And I'll be like, well, I want to be a Ferrari. And I'll say, well, you know, the steering wheel is really tight. If you move the steering wheel a little bit, it's going to move. If you're cruising in the truck, like you can be like this and it's just going to go down the road straight. So do you want to be loose or do you want to be tight? And they're like, well, I want to be tight in that situation. Well, that's no different than the rest of your body. If you're not tight, there's no responsiveness. 